Hello and welcome, Arianna here, online business manager and Kartra expert. And in this video, I want to show you how to create a portal inside of Kartra that is going to house a group of your memberships or courses. Let's jump right in. So I am in the my memberships section right now. And at the top here, we're going to head over to portals. So this is really great if you want to have a central place where you are sending students so that they can see multiple courses, even if they are not enrolled in them and if they have not purchased, this is gonna allow them to see it and potentially view more information about it and potentially sign up down the road. So I have one portal here as an example, I'm going to start a new one from scratch though. So over on the right hand side here, we are gonna click on portal and we're going to name it as test. This is an internal name, so you can name this whatever you would like on your own end. So the first thing here, we have five different or four different steps of settings that we need to configure for a portal. So the first thing that we want to do is the courses or membership sites that we want included in that particular portal. So I'm going to select these two as an example and click save. All right, next we have the membership display settings. So this is where we are going to specify how we want the portal to appear as far as which memberships are available for people to view. So we've got three options here. The first one is when they land on the membership, or sorry, the portal page, the link that you give them, they are going to see all of the courses that you have selected to be within that membership. So all of the courses that are up here. If they have not enrolled and purchased one of them, it will show a locked red button and a link for them to sign up or learn more. The next option is for them to only see when they open up that page for them to only see the courses that they are enrolled in. And the third option is to first put up a forced login and then it will behind that only show them the ones that they are logged into. Now, I will also specify that under this option where they are seeing all the memberships it will still require them to log in so they can't bypass that if they haven't already logged in and have access to specific memberships. So this is the one that I recommend for people to use just because again, it shows you the other ones that are in there and it can prompt people to go in and explore some of the other offers that you have. So I'm going to leave it on this one. All right, so these are the two settings we've set up under the memberships section. All right, next we have the sorting section. So this is just where you can arrange um, the order in which you want the memberships to appear when they open up the portal. I'm gonna click save and save and next. All right, next is, they call it the customization setting. This is kind of the general layout and look of the portal. Now there are not a lot of settings for you to be able to change and not a lot of customization that you can actually do in this one. Um, but there are some key things that you can incorporate to make it match your branding. So you can select a background color of the portion of the page where your logo is. And you can, of course, upload a file of your logo here. So I'm just going to click save. If you have a logo uploaded into Kartra already, like in your account settings, it's going to pre-populate it in here for you. So I didn't need to do anything in here. I'm just going to click save. Okay, next we have the marquee, or I would call this a banner, and this shows up at the very top of the page and then the memberships display below it. So there are a few options here. One is you can just remove it all together and it can kind of look the way that it does here where it just has the memberships and the menu at the top and that's it. Or you can select to have one and customize it in a few different ways. So one thing that you can change is the text on here. And you can write 
whatever you would like in there. There is a maximum of 60 characters, but this would be, you know, the name of your membership, your, your company, whatever makes sense in there. Okay, and then over here, you can see there are a few options here that you can click through to view some different presets that you can work with. And if any of these, if these photos don't work for you, which for most people they won't, um, you can definitely upload your own image and here it has the ideal image size. So you can create this in something like Canva, that's what I like to do, and it's 1920 by 300 pixels. And so you would just upload your own image as the background here. The other thing you can do is create a layover color. So if you upload a simple image that doesn't have any editing to it and you want to kind of create a layover, you can select a color here and then select how transparent essentially you would like it to be. So we can go all the way up to 100 where it's just that color and there is no image or we can go down lower where it's an overlay on top of that image. Okay, so for this one, I'm actually just going to remove it so that it is only the image. And I'm going to select one of the other images, like that one. All right, so up here, we're gonna click Save for the marquee. Next, we get to select whether or not we would like a progress bar to show right within the portal. So they can essentially see how much they have completed of each of the courses. I'm gonna click yes. And that's kind of how it'll look. It's a little preview of sort of what it will look like on their end. Now, one thing to note here is that the progress really is just how many things they have clicked through on each of the memberships. So there's no sort of like confirm you've completed a button or anything like that. It is just going to track how many of the lessons or modules people have viewed within each of those memberships or courses. Okay, I'm going to click save and we've now finished with the customization section of the settings. And finally, we have the customer support section. So this I'm not going to go into. This is going to be covered in other help desk videos, but if you have a help desk set up already, you can go in and integrate that so that it appears right within the membership. It's a really nice way to have people kind of be able to reach you at the click of a button. And so in this one, I'm just going to hit no support on this particular one and then save and next and we are finished. So this is the link to the portal. I'm just going to open it up so that we can preview it from the front end and you can see how that would look for your members. So we've got the logo and the background there in the menu area is white. That's what we had set up. This is the banner image that I had selected and the text that I wrote in. And we've got the two example memberships showing up here. So there is no additional customization that you can do here. So for example, there's no sidebars or anything else that you can change in here. Anything like that, where you want to send people outside of your courses, directing them to something like your website or something else you would want to do inside of the actual memberships because there, there is a lot more customizing that you can do. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you subscribe to get notified of additional tutorial videos that we'll be releasing and check out the description below because I've got free resources that you're going to love as well as plug and play funnel templates that you can import directly into your Kartra and start using today. Thanks for watching.